welcome back to the Jack Racing YouTube channel. Today we are making this red go away. I know a lot of my race cars have been black and red and that is the plan for this one, but it's not quite this red and this isn't quite the design we're going for. So I'm going to go ahead, get the whole thing with this, the same gloss black that we have on the front here. And then uh, I'm going to have some vinyl on the way to put a design I haven't showed anyone yet, but uh, we've got something pretty good in, in mind here to put on the truck. So going to get everything masked off. I really don't want to get any paint on the windshield or the back glass. So I'm going to get that all completely taped off. We'll get some paper on the floor and then uh, we'll get rid of this red. And then once the numbers and the vinyl arrives, we'll go ahead and put the design on. I think this thing's going to look pretty cool. I think it looks pretty sick in all black. Definitely better than the red. Not that the red looked bad at all. I like the old paint scheme on this thing, but there's something about something about the all black look that just is super cool to me. I really, really like all blacked out things. Um, can't wait to get the graphics on it. I know I'm really impatient that the, the numbers in the vinyl are going to take a while to get here because I really just want to see the whole thing put together, but. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I know it's just a can of Rust-Oleum, but I still really like the way it turned out and it's probably going to get beat on a little bit this year, so why spend the money, you know, money and time on a super fancy paint job when a little bit of tape and some spray paint gets the job done. So uh, let's peel some of this uh, masking off and see what it looks like without all the tape and paper all over it. I always get kind of nervous when I do this because I'm really don't want to have messed up and gotten paint all over the windshield or somewhere where it really doesn't belong so let's really hope this oh so far so good so far so good wonderful no massive failures here oh good all right nothing to worry about here let's get the other side and make sure i didn't botch anything over here i think we're going to be in good shape though That is very satisfying. Yes, all right, we're in good shape. And here it is without any tape or anything on it. Very, very happy with the way this turned out. I can't wait to get the rest of the graphics on it. I think this thing is gonna look awesome. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a hint on what we're gonna do for the graphics. So, um, if you don't know me too well personally, something fun about me is I am a super big monster truck nerd. Um, mostly you know old school stuff right now but um, i worked for monster jam for three years I love monster trucks i grew up loving monster trucks so the scheme on this thing is going to be inspired by a uh, an older monster truck paint scheme so i'm measuring right now where i think the uh the youtube advertisement sticker is going to go the post office said it was going to be here today and it was still in a different city this morning so that's not happening so i'm guessing and hoping for the best this should be woo, should be about this yeah about that tall okay movie you want to be on a movie So I'm glad I realized this before I started sticking stuff on. This side is different than the other side because it has the exhaust pipes here. So I need to make sure that I make the design even on both sides. And I didn't want to put the lettering over the exhaust pipe because that's going to mess it all up. So we're going to start, start the graphics kind of right here above the exhaust pipes. All right, we're about to put this side on. I'm gonna time lapse it so you can see it all in fast motion and not have to waste a bunch of time watching me make a bunch of mistakes. So 
Um, the other side's already actually done. We TikTok live streamed that. We're going to be live streaming this too, so if you see Betsy walking around with the camera, that's why, because we're live on TikTok. If you found me from TikTok, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see where all my subscribers here are coming from. So uh, enjoy. Let's make this thing pretty. Unfortunately, the camera died, as you could see in that time lapse. I did not make it all the way through. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping to get that on there, but it's what it is. We got to get the work done because we are hitting the track one week from tonight. So we don't have a whole lot of time to be playing around, but there it is. Let me get you some better shots. I'm pretty happy with the way this all came out. This is the side I have finished more. I've gotten a lot more of the imperfections out. Got to have the ad for the YouTube channel there. Always got to be double zero. Gotta thank Pirate Dog Racing and Turlow's Garage for their support. We've got name up on the roof here, number up on the roof. I am very happy with the way this thing turned out. I think this is gonna be an awesome looking scheme going down the track. Good thing about race cars is this doesn't have to be professional quality either. These are all 20 to 100 foot paint jobs, hopefully going by like 100 miles an hour. So no one's gonna see any of these small little imperfections, but I am very happy with how this all came out. Very excited to get it on the track. Like I said, one week from today, we are gonna be out at New Smyrna. It's gonna be my first time in the truck at New Smyrna. So I am very excited for the new challenge. It is gonna be a challenge, but you know what? I enjoy that challenge. Thank you for watching. If you stuck around to the end, I know this was a little bit of a, a long time in the making video. It took me like three weeks to get all this stuff in the mail. They lost some of my numbers and stuff for a while. So getting all of this was a challenge, but it's finally on. We're gonna have a ton of content coming soon. So please subscribe, follow along. We're gonna be taking this thing on the track the next four weeks straight. So we're gonna have uh, big races on big stages. World Series is gonna be on Flow Racing. That's a big race right there. Gonna be a lot of people there. Can't wait for that. That was my favorite event last year. So really excited to go back this year. So go ahead, give us a subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment what you think of the paint scheme and uh, we'll see you next time. It's about to get exciting.